Hi, I am Dr. Chandrika Kulkarni. I am a fertility specialist at Cloud9, Jainagar, Bengaluru. There is no cap on the number of tries that can be done for IVF for it to be successful. However, one needs to understand why IVF fails. The success rate of our IVF is around 40 to 50 percent for a single try. If it doesn't work, then another try can be given. But even if that doesn't work, then we need to look up things why it is failing. One is we need to see if there are any nucleoid embryos which are being transferred and they are not getting implanted. And we also need to look at if there is a problem with the endometrial receptivity. How can we do this? One is doing the first one you can mitigate by doing the pre-implantation genetic screening. In the pre-implantation genetic screening, the embryos which are chromosomally normal and which have higher chances of success implantation and live birth are the ones which are selected. And in endometrial receptivity array, we do a biopsy of the endometrium to see whether the endometrium is receptive on the day of transfer. If the endometrium is receptive, the biopsy report comes as receptive. Otherwise, it can come as pre-receptive and post-receptive. Depending on the report, we then alter the day of the embryo transfer and this improves the chances of success. So, if there is recurrent implantation failure, which is usually around three implantation cycles, but it is also done after two cycles also. These are the tests that can be done, the pre-implantation genetic screening and the ERA testing, endometrial receptivity array, before we go ahead with further transfers. Also, one needs to know the number of IVFs that can be tried also depends on the ovarian reserve of the patient. Suppose the patient is a very poor responder, then we can also do things called as double stimulation or multiple stimulation and actually pooling of the embryos before transferring them so that we can achieve a good pregnancy rates.